Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and today I'm going to show you how to work with hair in Blender. So before I get started, please comment and rate this video, subscribe to my page if you like my stuff, add me as a friend, and be sure to check out my other tutorials. And also check out my blog at cganimator.blogspot.com. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is delete the cube, so just press delete, okay. Press space, add mesh UV sphere. Press OK. OK, that's good. Now we have a small UV sphere that we're going to add our hair to. So just set it smooth so you won't see the faces. Now go to this tab right here. And go to the particle tab. Also, if you haven't seen my particles tutorial, I suggest you do. And press add new. And in the particles tutorial, we work with the emitter here. So we're just going to change that from emitter to hair. Now nothing happened, everything's the same. So if you want your hair to start coming out, just turn the normal up. I'm gonna turn it to point one. Okay. And the hair is pretty good. You know, it's coming out a little weird, a little too perfect. So just turn the random up to about point oh three. That's better. I'm gonna have it image from random so it's a little more random and even, so it's even also. That looks good. I'm gonna turn the amount to two thousand particles. Okay, that's pretty good. So you can have global effects, which works just like the particles, but this is a little more sensitive. So like 0.03, it's pretty good. Or minus would be better. And as you can see, the hair goes down. It's affected right here. Okay. Now a lot of people have the problem that their sphere or whatever they use to emit hair from doesn't render so I'm just gonna render this really quick and show you what I mean press F12 to render I'll give it a second uh, so a lot of computers have a hard time rendering hair because the computer has to render each individual strand and that's hard on the computer Now, as you can see here, there's no emitter, there's no sphere. So all you have to do to fix that is click your sphere and press render emitter. And so that goes a little faster. I'm just going to fix the render setting. Don't need any of this here. Turn this to 64. Turn this to box. Turn this to NTSC. Okay. And there you go. Now it renders the scene pretty good you know renders this here if you don't want to render just turn the render emitter here off and another really cool thing with this is if you don't want the whole object or mesh to be covered in here all you have to do is you go switch from object mode to weight paint and you just draw the part that you want to have the most hair Red is where the most is going to be, and the blue, greenish parts is where the least amount of hair is going to be. That's pretty good. Go back to object mode. And if you go to the editing tab here, you can see it created a vertex group. So I'm just going to change it to hair. You don't have to, it just helps if you have a lot of um, vertex groups. And then you just go here to vertex group under extras, press right here, and press hair. And as you can see, you got a nice bushel of hair there. Now I'm going to show you how to edit this hair. So all you have to do is go here, press set editable, change from object mode to particle mode, and you only have particle mode when you have a particle system open or available. So to open up the particle system menu, just press N. And we have all this stuff here, and I'll explain it. None, doesn't do anything. Comb, we comb hair over. As a real comb, you can change the size and the strength and smooth out the hair with smooth. Again, size and strength, you can change the strength and the size. Weight, you can change where the most weight in the hair is when the least weight is, but I'm not going to affect that right now. Size and strength, again, you can change that. Now, there's add and there's length, and these are two different things. What add does, it literally adds hair to each individual spot that you press and length as length to already existing hair or you can shrink the le length and make it shorter 
Again, you can change the size and strength. Puff puffs the hair out or in if you press sub. Sub and cut is really cool. You can cut your hair exactly how you want it. I'm not that good of a hair person in terms of making it look all that good, but you know, I'm just showing you how to do it. And there's not, and there's uh, one more thing that you can do. Oh, I'm gonna go back here and add some more hair. So I cut it all off. Just gonna add to the strength up. I'm just gonna hold it and move around. There we go. It's pretty cool. Okay, so I'll go into object mode. Let's hit this back up. Okay, now another thing you can do is it's something that you can change in the materials tab here. So press add new. And if you notice down here, there's a strands button. And this is the strand of hair. This is how big the start, or right here, the base of the hair would be. This is the end or the tip, how large the tip of the, hair, uh, the end of the hair should be. And this is the shape differences and the width fade. So I'm going to turn the width fade up start a bit up and end a bit down and uh, I'll just render that and there you have it you know see if you notice here the strands the end here is bigger than the bottom and there's a bunch of different stuff you, that you can do but that's pretty much the basics and keep watching my tutorials check out my blog at cdanimator.com and subscribe if you like my stuff. Thanks for watching.